Welcome to Rob's Rogues, and today we're taking a look at something very, very cool. I don't know if you can tell how big this thing is. I am approximately two feet away from this because I cannot get all of it in uh, a shot here as close as I normally uh, sit to my review table. This is the Batman animated series, Gentle Giants recreation of Robin in 12-inch size, the jumbo figure that they produced. So far, they've produced four of these figures, and I'll, I'll show you the back of the card. I can't reach out and grab and hold this thing. Like I said, I'm about two feet away from the uh, package. This thing is so large. This is going to look great in my collection. Uh, the other figures that they had here, and I'll, I'll flip the card around. I'm probably going to have to uh, edit the uh, frame here to get back so you don't see my ass in the screen. <laughs> but uh, Batman... Robin, of course, uh, the Joker, and Catwoman. They actually did a Catwoman as well. Uh, that figure didn't stand at three and three quarter inch. I'm wondering how that one would stand. This is the only one um, I'm going to get from the line. There is a superpowers line, and when I get to the back of the card, um, I'll show that. Um, I'm going to go uh, kind of handheld here just so you can kind of see. Uh, they've recreated everything. There's the top of my wall there. Um, They've recreated everything uh, that the card originally uh, had, with the exception of the glider that you can see right here. That's the picture that was on the original card back in 1993. So uh, you can only imagine how large this glider would be uh, if they put it in here. So again, I don't have a glider for this figure. <laughs> if you go way back to my animated series reviews, which I promise I will get back to at some point. Um, I got a cassette tape here underneath the uh, card bubble to hold it up because it would uh, lay down. And just like the original card did, it kind of jetted out from the side. There, I'll show you a side profile of this. But uh, even their Gentle Giants, uh, Gentle Giant LTD logo is done in the uh, white and blue Kenner fashion on the card where it uh, used to be. So uh, they really did a knockout job on this. And just looking at the figure... Uh, from here, they recreated this right down to the last wrinkle that is in the original figure. And I'll bring up that one uh, so we can do a, a size comparison. <laughs> Which, uh, looking at it here on in my uh, view monitor and probably on your screens, you may not notice a, a bigger difference other than, you know, like, oh, we don't see the top of Rob's wall. Like I said, I can't get it... Uh, all in here either and I'm uh, the, getting a weird glare from my lights because I'm not uh, underneath them. You can see even the little J uh, hook in there that this card would have been on the pegs at you know your local Walmarts. So uh, let me reposition the camera here and we'll get a look at the uh, side of the card and then we'll get a look at the back of the card. Alright not that anybody's really jumping up and down to see the side of the card but I did want to show you just the bottom of it here, you can see my cassette tape here. Some may, somebody may be saying, cassette tape? What is that? So I've got it just so it would be holding up straight for the review if I, you know, pull this out. You know, he's going to kind of lean. I was half wondering that he might, you know, topple over during the review, so that's why that's And here's there. the back of the card. Like I said, uh, Batman, Robin, the Joker, and Catwoman are being done in uh, the animated series line. And you can see down here at the bottom, also available in wave one which i believe is probably going to be more is the superpowers line now i'm really kind of surprised eh, not really um yeah i kind of am with the wave one figures that they have out there batman and robin i understand the joker i i can understand but the flash not saying the flash isn't cool but i'm surprised they didn't do superman in wave one I know Wave 2 is going to have uh, Wonder Woman, and uh, this, these, this wave is already out, so Superman may already be there, and I'm almost positive he's already been released. Because um, I do believe Stu Murray 47, when I was uh, saying that I was ordering this, he was talking about wanting uh, to try and get a hold of Superman, so I, I believe it is out there. Uh, they also are doing a micro 
line. You can see how small that is. I have Batman and Robin. I picked up uh, Lex Luthor for uh, Stu, and I'm sending that to him. And just as big as these guys are, uh, the jumbo figures, those guys are tiny. You can see just in the picture of uh, the Flash there. And those are sold at Walgreens. You may be able to get them a couple other places, but I think kind of exclusively that's that's one of the uh, few locations that you can get them at. And then you know, the rest of the card is made to look like the original 93 card, even with the uh, proof of purchase uh, down here that used to be able to cut out back in the day. For those of us that are old enough to remember that, you'd cut this out and you mail it away and get another figure, whatever exclusive that might happen to be. Um, back of Superpowers Day, that would have been uh, Clark Kent. You can see all of the uh, product information. Uh, the only other thing is the top of the card, so bear with me. Don't really have to use my telescoping uh, boom very often. I'm at the top of the boom. I can't get up to the top. But uh, let's uh, zoom out here a little bit. And there you can see the top of the card as it uh, was created back in 93. So uh, this is really cool. Now, uh, one of the questions somebody may be asking is, Rob, are you going to open this? Initially, I didn't think I was going to open this. I'm not a big mint on card collector. Uh, my wife and I don't have any kids, so it's not like I'm going to leave this to my kids and one day they're going to be able to sell it. And somebody goes, well, Rob, what if you ever want to sell this? Am I going to sell this thing? No. You're going to have to pry it out of my cold, dead hands. Take it out of the casket. <laughs> I could sleep with this thing. It's so big. Um, but what they did is they put these tape tabs on here and I watched a couple reviews of some of the other ones of these and the tape tabs come off now it won't be mint on card anymore but this is a clamshell so I'm not going to do it on film it's gonna be kind of pointless but there's uh, three tape tabs up top one two on the side two here you can probably kind of see the tape tabs right there so those will just peel off so if I ever want to put this guy We'll see if he stands there without the cassette tape. If I ever want to put the, this guy back in his box and display him like this, I easily could. It's just a couple wire ties down here. Undo the wire tie. So I won't be able to say this is mint on card, but to have the box, um, I'm not going to sell this thing. And I know like after I'm long gone, somebody could do an auction and try and sell this off. But at that point, I don't care. I got to enjoy it. I want to enjoy this thing. We'll get a look at the original figure next to this guy. <laughs> and uh, we'll also take a look at the 92 version of this figure. The Batman Returns, Tim Drake Robin, and we'll see some similarities in this. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be a lot of fun. We'll be right back. He's so big. All right. I've got him out of the package. Here is the top of the card, or the top of the card, the back part of the plastic, and it just folds into uh, these little channel slots right here. So I can easily replace it, no problem. And you can see the back of the card here. So uh, it's going to be pretty easy, and it's just an inner slip case, slip bubble right here where the figure was sitting in, a couple wire ties. And we're good as gold. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right. Now, this guy I can get mostly in the frame here. So now that I don't have the big uh, box uh, to deal with, uh, Robin does clock in right at about, like I said, 12 inches. Just a tad shorter than 12 so Robin is a little smaller than what Batman would be, but essentially a 12 inch jumbo figure. Almost. He's not quite a foot, uh, but what a cool figure. And they literally just blew this guy up in size. Um, what, what a cool figure. This was probably one of my favorite Batman animated ser series figures from the whole entire line. Um, I loved that they, uh, made the animated series figure and this was a big one once i knew it was coming out i believe it was, he was like a wave a wave two figure i believe they weren't necessarily doing waves necessarily back then towards the latter part of the line they even recreated the very very large cape for robin and it feels very much like that same material and uh 
they stitched it the way that it was. Uh, some ends on some people's capes were a little uneven, being that Robin had a two-toned uh, cape. Now, what they end up doing is, I talked about this in my uh, initial review for this figure and for the Batman Returns figure. This is essentially, actually, this is the 1992 Tim Drake Batman Returns Robin. Um, that they had decided they were going to make a Robin for Batman Returns. Of course, that didn't happen in the movie, but they did make a figure and then obviously chose to use the comic book version of that uh, character. So, this is his costume, this is exactly the way it looked like in 1992, and I do have the original 92 figure. Uh, the biggest thing you can kind of tell is uh, the capsule spots here on the sleeves and here on uh, part of the gauntlets but the biggest giveaway is the belt and just the ab work uh, that's right in here let's get a little bit closer so you can see all that uh, just the way the belt looks so I'm going to bring up the original Robin same exact sculpt down to the number of buttons other than the Tim Drake R here but there's the capsules on the side the gauntlets there uh, the abs and even the belt and the way that lays so what they did in 92 or excuse me 93 when the animated series line uh, was coming out and by the way this is the first Tim Drake figure ever um, <laughs> and you can see how how the cape is so what they did they said well we have this body for Robin so let's just produce the figure all over again and punch the camera. Give us this. Same exact figure, same body, just a different head. So it wasn't until uh, DC Collectibles released their six inch action figure that gave us a true proper animated series look for uh, the Dick Grayson Robin character on the TV series because uh, his belt never looked like this in the uh, TV series and didn't have the little capsules here off to the side um, it was very much a you know plain looking outfit but what's cool is now mine is a little bit still darker in color um, I think some of the, the lighter ones, the green had gotten a, a little bit more lighter, like the uh, jumbo figure over here is. But what's so cool about this figure, they recreate everything down to the wrinkles in the boots. And the toe caps from the original Tim Drake Robin uh, had his ninja boots with the little uh, toe indentation right there. So you can see wrinkles around the knee here and hopefully the light is picking this up let's get it out a little bit more here Rob so there's the wrinkles in the folds on the boot here on the three and three quarter inch so if we bring jumbo back up there they are there there's the ninja toes so I don't know if they were able to get a hold of somebody from Kenner and say, hey, we would like to get your molds and then 3D printed them or something like that. Or somebody painstakingly went back through and re-sculpted everything. But I'm sure it's probably a digital uh, scan of the figure. So for size comparison, let's see if I can get them both looking the exact same way here. Fold the, the cape over, fold that around. <laughs> My cape on, uh, both my smaller ones I kept uh, kind of laying flat. So here we are. <laughs> this will give you a real size of what this guy looks like. There is the three and three quarter inch animated series Robin next to the Jumbo Robin. If I bring up the, uh, the Tim Drake version. So it's kind of cool that I have three versions of this figure. Don't know if there'll ever be a fourth, but uh, this was this was really cool uh, to be able to, to get this guy. So let's move his little brothers out of the way. 
So the articulation for these is a standard action figure articulation for back in the day. Let's uh, get up here so we can kind of see everything. Apologize for having the camera all around. So the head does look left to right. That's it. Arms, there we go, go all the way around. Legs go forward. Now, can you imagine the Batmobile that Robin could ride in or the Batcave <laughs> Command Center would be as big as my table? That's it for articulation. So I want to bring up a couple other figures that may be more in size with this Robin so you can kind of see um, what he looks like with some bigger scaled figures. All right, keeping things in with the animated series line, here is uh, from Kenner, uh, their first attempt at doing some uh, jumbo figures right before. I th think this might have actually been uh, Hasbro, could have been Hasbro slash Kenner at the time of the new Batman adventures. Uh, they did make some uh, larger figures. Here is uh, the Tim Drake Robin with the Tim Drake molded body robin dick grayson so this tim i believe is right around six inches and he's smaller i think batman uh, does come closer to 10 um yeah he's actually nine so i think uh batman in this line might have been uh 10 inches maybe even uh 11 i don't think he quite reached a foot so that's uh the first larger figure we'll, figure we'll take a look at here okay here's the batman play arts kai uh 10 inch figure with the uh jumbo 12 inch figure here so a lot of these figures that you're seeing are going to be on the back wall behind me when i do some live videos and this robin's going to really stand up above uh, some of the larger figures that i have i'll bring up one more here and here's the uh, 13 inch uh, dc direct uh, robin figure now he is on a base here i'm kind of i was going to take him off but uh, he doesn't want to stand so well on my review table here so if i got him up around the same height uh, there i've got robin kind of on that base so you can kind of see a little bit more sorry about that having to reach way around the camera so he's still um almost a head taller than the jumbo figure so I was really kind of curious if he was still going to be the largest Robin figure that I have in my collection. This is more in Hot Toys uh, scale right here. So he'll be a little bit shorter uh, than what a Hot Toys is. So I was going to bring up the Batman versus Superman uh, Batman just for another size comparison. But uh, this Robin is right on point with that figure for size. So uh, there, just in case people are wondering uh, how he would fit in with different uh, type of figures, this will give you something to kind of go off of. Final thoughts on this figure. I absolutely love the figure. Uh, they recreated everything down to his original release where uh, he doesn't have the white in his mouth for teeth. That was something that they added later to um, future releases of the Robin figure, which I do have one off the side but it'll, it'll be too far away but they just you know painted white in where his mouth is to kind of show you if it has teeth so their uh detail and again this is probably 3d printed or you know scanned in somehow but that it looks exactly like it did uh, the only other figure shame on me that i didn't show is the dc collectibles six inch figure so there he is with the six inch version of himself and you can see the belt um, as it actually looked on the show and uh, um, his uh, a correct amount of buttons which are three so this has been a, a really a fun review to do and uh, taking a look at one of my favorite robin figures for the longest time and this whole animated series line was just uh one of my favorite action figure lines uh I would say as a kid, but I was a senior in high school, getting ready to graduate at the time. So uh, this really started forging me ahead that uh, collecting action figures is what I wanted to do. So today we've been taking a look at the 2016, that's when this originally was released, last year. Gentle Giant LTD is the name of the company. Uh, Batman Animated Series Jumbo Robin figure. Uh, if you're an animated series fan, I would definitely take a look at these. If you're a Robin fan, this is a no-brainer. If somebody's wondering how much these are, <coughs> excuse me, 
I picked up this off of Amazon for $44, $45, I think, and some change. Using Amazon Prime, that's what I paid for. Um, so it was a steal. They have been running around $100 to about 80 when they first came out last year. So I, I thought I'd wait a little bit. Sometimes waiting means, oh, if I didn't get it at the initial price, it's just going to go up and up. So they had three of these left. So $44, $45 is not bad at all. And if you've got Amazon Prime, that's it. That's the price uh, out the door. So uh, not that I'm trying to plug Amazon, but that's where I picked this up. So as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe.net signing off saying we will see you guys next time.